With local election season in full swing, various organizations in Fairbanks have started holding forums for candidates running for office in the October 1st municipal races. Last night, the Interior Taxpayers Association hosted a forum for city and borough candidates. Alex Bengel has more. With the 2024 municipal elections coming up on October 1st, candidates for Fairbanks City Council, Borough Assembly, and Borough Mayor gathered at the University Baptist Church to take questions from the Fairbanks community. The annual event was put on by the Interior Taxpayers Association, which has already come out in favor of the renewal of the borough's tax cap. After introducing themselves, candidates discussed a variety of topics, from the fate of the land where the Polaris building currently stands to staffing at the city's emergency services, including police officers and firefighters. City Council candidates were also asked how they would end what was called a homeless and safety problem in response to a camp popping up inside the downtown post office last winter. I heard about this some time ago. Um, we have better uh, communications, like at the transportation center downtown, when they kind of jimmy the doors to get in at night and sleep in the tower. And we pretty well got away with that, but just um, working with the police on that, working with safety measures. I think that could happen at the post office as well. There needs to be a place for them to go that they feel comfortable and that place should not be a post office. I would like to see uh, you know, more services, more space that they can sort of go to that doesn't, isn't disrupting everyone else's day. And uh, if I may vent a little bit, the downtown post office really needs to be the main post office in the city. We also operate a warming shelter, which has resources that you can go to. Even if you're drunk or high, they will still let you come there so you don't freeze to death when it hits 20 below here in Fairbanks. So we need to make sure. So as a city council, we need to look into that and see how we can help them get the resources we need, they need to ensure that they can effective, effectively operate. One of the most important things that we can do to help with this issue is educate the community on how the city of Fairbanks can work directly with the public. If the post office is having issues like that, what resources are available to the post office? Because I know, for instance, there's a reentry coordinator, and I know that Brent Butler does fantastic work at the city. There are resources available should people seek them. The post office needs to do so much more to try to call the police and make sure that they have another place to go. The city has lots of resources for housing, for, um, for jobs, for education, and I think that we really need to make sure that we have the community service patrol, however much it costs. I'm Alex Bengel, reporting for News Center Fairbanks.